Hey guys, Glenn here. Um, okay, um, I don't know if you saw my other YouTube video or not, but I did an unboxing of my brand new uh, Brinley um, 10 cubic foot, 10 cubic inch yard cart for my um, Cub Cadet C CC30E um, electric rider mower. And so I got that right here all put together. And now I'm going to finally get around to unboxing my Toro Power Max 60 volt um, snowblower. Yeah, I know it's now spring. Spring is sprung. It doesn't feel like it. it. feels still like winter, but I'm unboxing a snowblower. Right, you'd think I'd want to do that next year when it's cold out, but now get it done now. That way I can get it set up and get it ready for next winter. You know, the batteries will be all charged and ready to go and all that good stuff. So right, let's get into this thing and let's get this thing open. Um, get this box pulled out a little bit. So I have room to get in here and get this thing out. All right. So let's rip into this thing and see what we've got. All right, now I had a Aaron's 32-inch Pro Snowblower with a Brixton Stratton 420cc engine on it that I just sold. Um, sadly, I'll miss my Aaron's. You know, in a while back, I don't know if you remember or not, but Aaron's had a, um, electric, a battery powered snowblower. But it didn't take off that well because lithium ion wasn't here yet. Lithium ion is a game changer. So, um, Needless to say, um, it didn't take off all that well. People weren't really buying it. And it was only a 24 inch. I've got a small driveway, but I don't want a 24 inch. I want something a little bigger than that. My 32 is a little bit big. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't, you know, um, keep that because 32 was too big for my driveway. And I've got a weird driveway because I don't know what you guys have, but I've got a, you know, um, a driveway where I've got my camper in it. It's a uh, Rockwood HW296 um, dual axle pop-up. And um, so, as far as that goes, that's... Um, and my utility trailer, which is in my F-150, takes up my driveway. I've only got a small area in front of the camper. So, I don't have a very wide driveway. And, um, I didn't need a 32-inch snowball. I bought bigger than what I needed. I wanted something beefy. Because, you know, I live on Cape Cod. And we get this New England weather that can be really harsh at times so unless you guys are familiar with the new england area you know we get some pretty pretty bad snowstorms here it can be really bad so um you know we can get a lot of snow wet heavy stuff any of you guys that live out in the midwest you guys don't see the wet heavy stuff you guys wouldn't even know what that stuff is. Um, well, I do, and I know what it is, and I've been here my whole life, born and raised here on Cape Cod, um, and I know what this stuff is all about, so um, what it's like, and it gets wet and heavy. And a lot of you snowblowers, you know, can't handle wet, heavy stuff very well. Now, I know this one does. It got a good, if you look at some of the reviews, on uh, YouTube for this. Um, that's really the best place to go if you want to get, um, if you want to see reviews, is to go to YouTube, check out somebody's YouTube channel and see what the reviewers are saying about it. All right, I don't know which one I'm gonna pull this out of here. Let me get the cardboard out. Okay. That can stay right there. Okay, we'll get this thing opened up. All right, now, I don't need all this. All right, these are the bolts that I need. Oh, and there is something about 
longer and shorter bolts to this. And I think it's the longer ones that I need. I'll have to see once I get it out. Um, all right. I guess I can pull this out backwards. I don't know. Let me just see what's here. All right. So I have to install that arm. All right. Let's get the help out of here. Okay. Get that piece covered. I will say one thing, they packed it well. And we'll pull up. And I probably should have left that on until I'm done. Let me just leave that on just to protect that cover against any scratches or I don't want to scratch the battery cover. Let's just go ahead and for now let's keep this thing covered up until I get it completely off. Alright, so I guess I can pull this out backwards. Um, let me just go ahead. The easiest way to get this out of here is to just um, cut it open. Cut down the side of the box here. Let me do that. Wow. This is some heavy cardboard, I'll say that. Well, they tell you to open it, so. But it's thick cardboard that I'm cutting through. Gone. Open it up. Right down to the bottom. Do the same on the other side. All right. We'll get this thing open up and out of the box. Wow. All right. Okay. Took me a minute to get into this thing. This thing has got some really thick cardboard. All right, so let me get the battery packs out. That might be the charges. Yeah, here's the battery packs. Okay, so let me get this, these out of here and set these up out of the way. Um, all right, so these are two, um, 60 volt lithium ion batteries. They're seven and a half amp hour batteries. Let me just put this over here. Okay. Let me get the charges. So now I went recently, well last year I bought, um, First I bought uh, Toro a power shovel, 60 volt. Then I went and bought the Toro Recycler, 22 inch, um, 60 volt push mower. Um, and now I just bought the Toro Snowblower. So I'm kind of invested in Toro now, whereas before I had a lot of the works products. I got a Landroid still, I got a Weed Whacker. I had one of their lawnmowers, Last me, oh god, I just got rid of it. Probably stopped working last year. So, 2009 to 2019 is 10 years. So, I got about, about, probably almost 13 years out of that mower. A lead acid battery, 36 volt? Yeah, 36 volt. Um, and, oh, okay. Let's get everything out of here. All right, so, um, yeah, so I had that for a long time. And now I've bought all these Toro products. 
I'm probably going to end up getting um, a Toro. Um, what am I looking to get? Oh, make sure I'm not. All right. I see. Hold on, guys. I can get this back in for a minute. I got to get a piece of cardboard. Cut the back end. That's why I should have pulled out the other way. And I didn't. Yeah, let me just prop this door open. <coughs> All right. Let me just get this cardboard cut right here. I'll tell you what. They really packed us thick cardboard. Okay, here we go. And let's get this out of the way. I don't want that tire to catch that cable. Um, so I'm pulling it this way. Okay, let's just get this out of the box. And then we'll flip it around and get it to where we can set it up. Okay. Yeah, this isn't bad. This will do for what I need. Like I said, I have such a small driveway. All right. Let's just, oh, they have that attached. All right. Well, let's just get this rod off of here. They've got a wire tied on, so. Like I said, they definitely did a good job packing this thing up. All right. I'll put this up over here. And. Okay. Now, let me see if I can get the snowblower out of the way so I can get it, the box out of here. So I can get the box outside and get my snowblower to where I can go ahead and stop, stop putting it together. All right. All right. Okay. Get that. All right. All right, guys. Cut the snowblower out into the open. Now, what I gotta do is I gotta get this disconnected and I'll get it set up. Um, let me get this handle set up for you, real quick here. Get these bolts into place. washer right here. Let's get that washer on there. And then they give you a bolt. Let's get that started. I think they're nylon. Maybe not. I didn't really look at them to see, but yeah, maybe. Okay. That one's started anyways. We'll come over to this side and we'll get this Turn a little bit. Let me get that nut up into place. 
where it needs to be. There we go. Perfecto. All right. Now, see, when I bought my Aaron snowblower, that came all put together. So I bought it from a dealership. And this I got from Home Depot. And what I decided to do was ship it to the house. So rather than to buy this from Home Depot and having them put it together and they pay some kid minimum wage to throw this thing together and not do it right, I want to do it myself, make sure it's done right. Okay, um, I just got to see what size, do I have the right size on here, I hope. We'll find out in a second. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a half inch. I figured either half inch or seven or nine sixteenths and I was right. Okay, let's get this. Tighten down. Oh, and you gotta make sure when you're setting these handles up. I don't know if you can see the spring off. There's a spring right here. Attach these cables. Make sure they're straight up and down that they're loose. So if you don't, then it won't work properly. I did read that. Before I even bought this, I knew about it. Watching the video that Home Depot had on their page. So if you want to buy one of these from Home Depot, and you don't want to buy it in the store because they're going to give you one that's probably right there on the floor. They won't give you one in a box. Then you're better off ordering it online and ship it to your house. It's free shipping, so they won't charge you for that. Um, and then um, you'll get one brand new in the box directly from Toro, not from Home Depot. So, just keep that in mind. Um, if you're like me and you'd rather put it together yourself and you know, follow all the instructions and make sure that it's done right, then that's what I would do is just go right onto homedepot.com and order it up and send it to your house. I got this on sale. It went up from, what was it, fifth, uh, was it $18.99 to $21.99. I got it on sale for $17.99, so I got a good deal on it. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I decided I'll get it online, have it shipped to the house. I thought it would come from Home Depot. No, it comes directly right from the manufacturer. So that's good. All right, let me just get past here and get on the other side. Yeah, let me just go ahead and push this forward a little bit. All right. Get this other side locked down. And then I'll work on getting the chute put up. Let's just go ahead and get this locked down. All right. There. there should be a key to this thing somewhere too. I'll find a key, probably either in here or on the snow blower. And I like how they got an adjustable headlight on this. My errand was, it was part of the plastic piece up front, although I did upgrade my errands to an LED headlight, <laughs> and then what, not even a year later I traded it in, I sold it and bought this, yeah, smart, huh, that's right, 
the person who bought it um, got themselves, you know, a nice snowblower. I bought it in 2018, and um, the guy was specifically looking for a 420cc um, Brixton Stratton engine, and that's what he got. So he was happy, I was happy, I made some money, you know, consider I had it since new. All the maintenance was done by the deal where I bought it. They did all the oil changes and all that. Um, I let them do it. Because it looks better, you know, he had all those records. And I told the guy, you know, if you need any questions about it, you can call the deal where I bought it. They have all the records on it. So, yeah, I was very, very happy. Now what we're going to do is I'll have to get the tire pressure off of these tires and make sure that they are up to snuff. Alright, make sure that handle is locked all the way down. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Much better. There we go. Okay. Now I'll work on getting that chute put on. And I think that's about it. And then this linkage right here. Okay, guys, now let's get this chute mounted. And they just got a bracket here, which is shipping purpose. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold on, guys. Oh, actually, you know what? Okay, let me just grab a pair of pliers. So they put up a wrench, so let's just take this. Okay. Let's see. Let me get this in here if I can. here all right okay and we'll get this not the bolt taken right off neither I think you just discard these They give you a bolt to come with this to mount this, so we just set these off to the side. Okay, get the other one loosened up if I can. Get under here and should have brought a wrench, but that's okay. Didn't realize I was gonna have nuts under here to take off. Okay. Get this underneath. Nope. Yeah, they just didn't want the shoot to move around, that's all. During shipping. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I guess not. Nope. Didn't feel like it was grabbing it at all. all right. Let's just get, because it shoots in my way, that's my problem. I may have to go get a wrench. 
see if I can get this. And I'm probably going to have to do that. It's just not giving me a spot to jump in here. And It's getting loose now. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely coming up. Oh, yeah. Almost turning it by hand. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, guys. These bolts that they gave me are way too short to go through that. So, I'm going to have to use the ones that came with it. That for that bracket for the shipping purposes because those other bolts just are not long enough so let's go ahead and we'll get this in here and see I'm gonna have to go watch somebody else's video because um, I can always change this back to the way it was um, all right let me just go ahead and we put an extension on this Okay. All right, let's get an extension on here. And let's get, oh, it's helps if I put the socket on the right end. God. That's right. Okay. Tighten these down. And then I just got to do a linkage in the back, and we'll be all set. Okay. Okay, guys, I got the linkage here. Let's just go ahead and get this set up. All right. Give me one second here. I'm going to leave that camera down underneath. So you guys can see it. Let me get these cotter pins out without any problems, I hope. Yeah, I'll take my pliers and pull them. I need the pliers to put them back in. Okay. And alright. So I've got a washer and a cotter pin that needs to go in. Okay, now I got another cotter pin down the bottom. I connect this linkage up. All right, let's get up underneath here and see. All right, which way does this need to go? I guess it needs to go either way, I guess. Let me see. Hold on, guys. I'm going to look at the manual and see what the manual tells me. Now, I'm doing this manual all... Um, digitally, I mean, which way they want that linkage to go? It's going to go towards the snowblower, so it has to go that way. Um, so the linkage goes all right. The uh, L-shaped part down the bottom is going to face towards the front of the snowblower. We'll get this in here now. I'm assuming that they want that they want that wa only one washer. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna check before I put this thing in there. Make sure they want a washer top and bottom. Yeah, and I think all right. No, it looks like they want maybe top and bottom because the other linkage doesn't have a washer so that goes to the chute all right let's get this up because they want they give you two washers and yeah they do want a washer oh hold on 
No, that has one there. All right, so I'm assuming I'm only showing one, but I would say the wash goes inside and outside on this. Okay, so let's put a washer there. Grab the other washer. And let's see if we can get this in. All right. All right, guys, I don't know how well you can see this, but let's see if we can get this on there and see if the wash is going to see if the card pin will go down through. Okay. Um, all right. Let me see where the hole is on this. How it goes like that. Okay. So let's get this back up in here. <clears throat> okay, I'll have to get my pliers up in here to get this down into place. Or maybe not. Maybe I can do it with my finger. Okay, that's in. All right, now let's move this back so you guys can see what I'm doing down below. Um, okay, let me pull this other pot of pin out. Got that. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to get this charged up so that I can try it. Okay, sorry guys. Let me just turn this so you guys can see what I'm doing right down here. All right. Let's see if I can get down under this snowball. God. All right, let's see. All right, where is the hole on this? Okay. Okay. All right, let's get this in here. All right. Let's get this caught up in. Oh, it's probably going to want to go from the top because you're not going to want it to come out if it did. Um... Okay, I'm just trying to get this in. Alright guys, now we just gotta... I got that other pin put in. Alright, let's go ahead and get this taken off. So we can get this all set up. Oh. God, we really got this thing packaged up really well. Alright, let's see if we can get this off of here. Oh, they don't want you to get into this thing. So well, that's a good thing. All right. Now we just have, I'll have to see where it hooks to. So that's going to rotate the chute. All right, guys. So there's two more bolts right here. Nuts and bolts right here for the adjustment for the chute. Um, so I've got the bolts in place. Let's just go ahead and get the nuts on. All right, there's one, put the other one, get them started, and then I'll, okay, let's see, is that gonna, oh, wait a minute, is this one doing the same thing, oh. there we go, all right, let me get, Half inch. Oop, that's, that's it. Okay. I'm sure, it's half inch. Nope, it is not. Okay. Is it? 
And then I'll tell me they did it again, right? I'm sorry guys, I've got my elbow right in the way where you guys can't see. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, and I think that's it. And let's see if the shoe will rotate. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Give you guys a look here. I don't think you guys could see that. Alright. So let's back this up just a hair so you guys can see this. Alright. And there we go. Rotate. Yeah, you just push it in. And then if you want to go up and down. So you just got, okay, let me just, here. Yeah, let me turn this so you can see this. Um, all right. So, how you work this is, if you want to go up and down with the chute, here, let me move this off of here. Let me get this. Okay, get that out of my way. Okay, so how this works is, um, the angle will shoot up and down. You got a button right here. Fingers go underneath. You got a button. Up and down with the shoe. Or right and left with it. So it's really easy to do. Um, I love it. I have to, have to be honest with you. I think that's a better design than what Aaron's has on theirs. It really does work nice. And I've had I've had Aaron's. And I love my Aaron's, but. This actually does go up and down much nicer. My errands, at times, the chute would get kind of stuck in a certain position. Like if I put it down and I went to release it up, it wouldn't come up as easy as, as this. I had sometimes either move it by hand or just wait for the snow to start coming through and it would force it up. This one, as you can see, stays down. And I put it down right where I lock it. I can lock it right down or put it up and it comes up. And it turns with, no, with the ease. So I'll be able to throw that snow in a different direction. Yeah, very pleased with the snowball. It's my first time having a Toro. Um, but it's nice. So the button over here to push for the drive gear. Or for the August, I believe. Yeah, this would be the drive gear, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, actually this is... Yeah, this is the augers, yep, to lock it, and then it'll, you know, if you try and pull it, it won't, you're going to pull this lever and then it'll stay down, okay, you need your forward speeds, so you got one, two, three, four, five, looks like a five speed, no, six actually, because that, well, two reverse, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six speed forward, two reverse, just like my errands, yep. All right, so here's the complete. Or actually, let me just go ahead and get the plastic off of here. We want to get this completely opened up. Let's get the cover up. You know which way it opens. Okay, here we go. Let's get the plastic off all the way. It's got a nice, like, clear, clear blue where the batteries go down in. Oh, good. Got my keys, got two of them, one for me, one for my wife. Um, here's the other door for the battery, for the third battery. I am going to buy the third battery for this. And when you do, then you get, all right, so with the two batteries that came with it, you get 60 minutes of runtime. Um, after that, you go ahead and um, you get the third battery and you get 90 minutes of runtime. Well, I'm going to want the 90 minutes just in case. 
Never know when I have to go back out. And in between, like, let's say I do my driveway, right? And then I have to come back out to do it. In between, if the batteries are a little low, I'll just take them in and throw them on charge, top them up, and I'll be ready to go out again. So, but I'm going to definitely get that third battery. It's $349 for these batteries for this thing. But I'm definitely going to buy that other one. So, all right. So, there is the Toro 60 volt with a brushless motor. Um, snowblower um, and it can take up to three battery packs comes with two two charges two batteries and this is it this is the 26 inch not the 24 26 inch snowblower all right guys I'm gonna get out of here and hope you guys enjoyed watching the video if you liked the video give it a like um, if you want to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever that's at down below up top I don't know um, I don't have the fancy videos like everyone else does, so I can't put those links in. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it. Um, so I just do my videos the way I do them. Um, you know, I've got like, uh, I think close to 300 subscribers. For me, that's good. I don't care. Um, you know, I'm not looking to get a million subscribers overnight. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you, everybody.